All right, joining us live in studio, born in October 1963, actor, writer, stand-up comedian, proud Canadian, born in Quebec City, Canada, five years on Saturday Night Live, in which he was the best Weekend Update host ever, and of course, Burt Reynolds, Turt Ferguson in the studio, Norm MacDonald. <laughs> Buddy, this is a thrill. How are you? One of my favorite comedians. Oh, thanks, man. Viva la Quebec Libre. <laughs> now, being from Quebec, are you upset? We had the Heritage Classic here, and in the newspaper today, they didn't sing the national anthem with French in it, and the Canadians were playing it. Does that bother you? No, that pleases me greatly. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> you know, growing up in Quebec, I was, um, I was, I never, I don't know a word of French because my dad would not let me learn. Really? No. We lived on an army base that was mostly English, but uh, he would, we, we, we could, you could either take Latin or English. Uh, or French, I mean. And so he would make me take French. I mean, oh man. He would make me take Latin because he was so afraid that I would become French, you understand? No way. And so, you know, that didn't, you know, you don't, Latin, you don't bump into a lot of ancient Romans in Quebec City. So, so as a result, <laughs> uh, listen, being beat up by French guys is one of the most humiliating things ever. <laughs> and uh, so we had our high school. There's almost no English people in Quebec. So our high school was only only 400 students in our whole high school. All the English kids in Quebec went to this one school, right, called uh, Quebec High School. And so then we would play, we had a football game every year, right? And we would play the best French team against us, you know? But we only had 400 kids in our school, so our team sucked, you know? And their team was really good. Anyways, we would play on the Plains of Abraham. The Plains of Abraham in Quebec City. Yeah, where, where, where Wolf defeated Montcalm. Very historical. Yeah. yeah, and then the French would kill us. <laughs> <laughs> and it was, like the, it was like the worst idea ever. Anyways. We're chatting with comedian Norm MacDonald, who is at the Laugh Shop, uh, through till tomorrow night. You can call 255-6900 for... Uh, for tickets, Chevy Chase said you were the best weekend updates host in the history of the show, besides him. How did you respond to that uh, high praise? Well, I think Chevy was the best ever. I think Chevy Chase was the best ever. And listen, who am I to argue with him? <laughs> I, I, but when, when you would sit down, though, every every week when you would tape Weekend Update on Saturday Night Live for the five years you did it, well, we wouldn't tape it. We'd go live. You'd go live. That's okay. the name of the show. Well, okay, yeah, okay. There you go. I got confused. That's why it's in there. <laughs> Thanks. What was going through your head as you're about to go on Weekend Update as the host? Um, well, I mean, I, obviously I had great reverence for the the, the institution because when I was a kid, you know, I remember the first Saturday Night Live, you know, when I was a kid. It was like amazing. Meet, meet, we're about the same age, yeah. 1975. Yeah, yeah, exactly, yeah. yeah. So I was like, oh, my God, i never seen anything like this. In my whole life and watching TV, that only happened twice. Once was with that show, and then once was with David Letterman. I was like, wow, i never seen anything like this before, you know? So then uh, to be on the show, uh, and I always thought Chevy was the funniest on the show, even though the other guys, I think, were more talented. Right. But I just liked that Chevy, like, would do that impression of uh, Gerald Ford. Gerald and not Ford. Even do an impression. Was it with <laughs> the know? dead dog and everything? Yeah, <laughs> and he never, like, ever really seemed to try or do anything. So he always made, even though the other guys were ostensibly way more talented looking, they looked more talented, but he wouldn't try, which to me was the funniest thing. Who's the funniest comedian now? Who, who makes you absolutely belly laugh when you see him? A stand up comedian? Yeah. Uh, there's this guy, Brian Regan, that makes me laugh ha louder, harder than anybody. But, uh,. Bill Cosby also. You, you've done some amazing... Go ahead, Stephen. Just a quick question for you. We've been having a debate for the last couple of days. Guys in Lululemons, jogging tight pants. I notice you're rocking some joggers as well. Backing me up, what are your thoughts, guys in Lululemon? I don't know what Lululemon is. They're these. I had to wear them today as a really They're just like stretchy pants. Incredibly gay pants that women wear. Oh, and you Very straight pants, very they're, flexible. No, and no, they're not. Pants. I don't have those pants. No, on. you don't. He's wearing guy sweats There's a, <laughs> and a hunting vest. There's a big difference <laughs> well, between both, his outfit and yours. They're both very comfortable. See, Norm and I are both into Yeah, comfort. but one of them is, is metro. One of them is heterosexual. One of them, Anyway, we're getting off topic. <laughs> this is an interesting Let's, thing. Like a guy told me one time, like. Uh, 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 you know, you there's a certain type of dress which is metrosexual. But to me, that means there's a certain kind of dress that's homosexual. Yeah. Like, what's the difference? Well, the difference is your outfit and Stevens, I, I think. <laughs> hey, would you do a, would you mind doing it for me? I am a huge but fan. But Steven may be so uh, 
confident in his sexuality that he can wear clothes like that. Thank you very much. That's exactly it. Who cares what everybody yeah, says? I'm no. comfortable and I can do high he, kicks like me. I was just he, telling somebody that the other day. He could be so confident in his sexuality <laughs> that he can actually have sex with men. <laughs> Thank you very much. Would you try that? Would you do? Would you do Burt Reynolds for us? Well, I can try, but I don't. I don't think I can turd, do him anymore. Turd for turd. I don't know. I I, I haven't done him in so many years, but uh, uh, <laughs> he goes. Um, yeah, it's a good guy. I can't do him anymore. <laughs> That's all we need. That's, That's Turd all Ferguson. I can't believe. Does anybody ever yell you that, that and on you on the street? Yes, they do. That's most. It's the. It's surreal, like because some people know that, and so they'll go turd. So turd. <laughs> we'll see you walking by. Yes, they go turd, turd, <laughs> and then I go thank you, and then everyone else goes what? <laughs> <laughs> That's the oddest exchange I've ever heard. <laughs> Here's an odd exchange I heard one time. You know when you just walk by and you hear a snippet of conversation? Yeah. So there was these two homeless dudes. <laughs> this was in uh, this was in uh, New York City. Two homeless dudes sitting beside each other and uh can i swear and you can just bleep it out yeah sure okay so two homeless dudes were sitting beside each other and i was just walking by and the and they were sitting beside each other and the one homeless guy said to the other guy he goes when the f- will you ever goaltender for the montreal canadian <laughs> <laughs> he'd finally had enough of this guy's horseshit <laughs> <laughs> Norm McDonald, uh, thank you for making us laugh. And, oh, thank uh, you, man. This and, is awesome. And you're in town, of course, at the Laugh Shop and the Blackfoot Inn through until Saturday night. My friend, thanks for taking time out today. Uh, thanks. It was really fun. Thanks All for right. having me.